Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We're here at the Imuna Project, are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice to converts, Gerim, Nohides, B'nai Noach, and the returnees to Judaism, the Bali Tshuva. And uh, I'm reminded of the story of the Balatanya. This is the Alta Rebbe, Shner Zalman Uliadi. This is the founder of the Chabad uh, Hasidic movement. And he was incarcerated uh, by the Russian government. He was in, he was in prison. And one of the leading uh, modern thinkers uh, of the day came to visit the Alta Rebbe in prison. The purpose of this visit, visit was really just an opportunity to present one of his mocking questions to the Alter Rebbe. It was, he didn't really want to know the answer. He just had these smart alecky questions for the Alter Rebbe. And um, the answer was, uh, was basically unimportant to him. And he just wanted to ask the question. So he asks the, the, the Alter Rebbe, a question about uh, what what does it mean in uh, Genesis chapter three verse nine when God says to Adam, "Where are you?" Adam and Eve had just eaten the fruit of the uh, tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They realized they were naked; they were hiding. The Spirit of God moves through uh, the Garden of Eden, and He says, "Where are you?" Now, the free thinker, the modern thinker. Uh, says to the Alter Rebbe, why is God saying, where are you? Well, he's God. He doesn't know where this person is. He has to ask. And um, the Alter Rebbe looked at him and he, resp and he responded, do you believe that the Torah is eternal? To which the guy said, yes. I mean, he was a, he was a Jew. He was a modern thinker, but he was a Jew. He was raised... Uh, properly. He says, yes, of course, the Torah is eternal. And then the Rebbe said, since the Torah is eternal, Hashem, the Creator, is not merely talking to Adam. He is talking to us every day, every year, throughout the generations. So when God said to Adam, where are you? God is speaking to us and us asking us, where are you? Where are you in your life? Where are you in your mission? Where are you in your, uh, your path toward uh, uh, Hashem, your path toward uh, observance? Everyone in his own little world has his own unique purpose in life, his own personal goals to achieve. The Rebbe is talking to this man. He says, uh, you are so however many uh, years old. The Rebbe knew exactly how old he was. Uh, did you? Uh, what have you accomplished in all these years? What have you done? Where have you gotten? Have you gotten closer to fulfilling your purpose in life? Where are you? This is a question not only that Hashem asks of us, that the Creator asks of us, but we should be asking uh, of ourselves. Um, do you think God puts us here without any purpose, without any objective? How far have you come in achieving your potential? The man was very impressed by the Rebbe's answer. He was just expecting maybe to ignore it, maybe to, to scoff at him. He didn't expect such a thoughtful answer. This free thinker was actually relatively well placed in society. And um, according to the story, he was able to um, put in a good word to intercede on behalf of the Alta Rebbe. And, um, uh, managed to obtain his release uh, from jail. This is more than just an anecdote, uh, a story of uh, another one of the uh, Hasidic stories that I love telling. This is a lesson for us and instructions to us during our life. We should be asking ourselves, where are you? Because as I've said many, many times, when you're reading uh, the Torah, this is not something that happened to people, you know, 3,000 years ago, 3,500 years ago, 4,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago. Hashem is speaking to us, to each individual Jew, today, right now. 
And the lesson we take away from the story of uh, Shner Zalman of uh, Liadi, um, the Balatanya, is this very thought. When we read Breshis, when we're reading the first couple of chapters of Genesis, this isn't just some cute story, this cute creation story. Hashem is speaking to us through that story. When God is speaking to Adam, he's really talking to us too. And we owe it to ourselves to listen, to frequently review our life, take stock of things, have a little self-reflection and ask ourselves, where are you? What have you accomplished? What are you going to do? Where are you heading? Who are you? Um, the Torah speaks. We need only to listen. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.